What's going on, you guys? David Henry here. My plus one is my brother, Lorenzo Henry, and um, you're watching my plus one. What's up, guys? It's uh, Vinny Fastline and... Tony Sarandos. And you're listening to My Plus One. And today's guest, we have a buddy of mine, actor. You know him from uh, Wizards of Waverly Place. He's been on How I Met Your Mother, a bunch of cool stuff. Give it up for David Henry, everybody. <sighs> David Henry. <sighs> Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Why thanks for coming on, dude. We all have a lot of history here. Yeah. Yes, we all go way back. Thank you for allowing my plus one, Lorenzo Henry, my brother. Yeah, who'd you bring? this well. is your brother here, huh? Yes, yes Lorenzo Give it up Henry. for Lorenzo, everybody. Yeah, <sighs> He, he got effects. the nice Italian skin. You know, he got the, he always has a wonderful tan. I'm pale as a ghost, so I got the I got the French side and uh Who needs sunscreen? Dude, yeah. ever since I've known you, you've always had that slick hair too. Thank you. Yes. The quality it's Italian. He was the born Sicilian. Born yeah, you just yeah. you just wake up in the morning, you go. What do you use? Just olive oil in the morning? Just <laughs> <laughs> olive oil, so yeah. good for you. Yeah, cold press, whole foods, you just, you know. It is good for you though, right? I just it saw is. I just saw a video where they did a five year study where Someone had heavy olive oil diet. Someone had a low uh, salt Mediterranean diet. And they, without a doubt, I think it was cold pressed olive oil, just like crush it. It's the most, it's like, it's like slippery in your veins and it, it, it drastically reduces any sort of heart attack, all sorts of things. Dude, good to hear that because I usually shower with it. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. Brush your teeth. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> I would too, honestly. Yeah, that's what was in my baby bottle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Greek and Italian, you know, yeah. they just give them some olive oil. Give them a little you know? bread, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most Italian podcast we've had yeah. so far, actually. I feel yeah. like we should be eating right now. Right. We should be. I did bring bagels. So we got bagels for you guys. Sort of very Italian. Italian. Yeah, yeah, you dip them in olive oil. <laughs> yeah, olive oil and tomato sauce. Dude, yeah. we, this is, this. We didn't even get, we're not even getting into the same shit. This is so random. But my mom is so Italian that one time when I was sick, she gave me, uh, she said garlic, oh, real garlic cloves are really good for you. You put on your um, feet? No, she said you rub them, you put, you know, you put, keep them like, you know, in your pockets. And then you could also like, Take it like a pill. So, anyways, I go to the airport. I'm unloading all my shit at the TSA, and there was garlic garlic cloves. <laughs> Oof! In, she snuck them in my pockets. These That's people okay. looked at me like I'm a terrorist. Like, sir, you brought garlic cloves on yeah. the on the plane? No, oh, you're, no, you're just scared of vampires. That's <laughs> it. I got like, I don't trust anybody. The, the, <laughs> night walkers. Our nana would put them like in your socks, mm, like yeah. and wrap them and heat them up and do all sorts of things like that. There's got to be some truth to it. No, no garlic's yeah. good for you. Yeah, I I t I eat raw garlic cloves. Wow. No, yeah. it, it is. And, you know, if you go to any, like, juicery, like, their main, like, immunity warfare shots are just, like, garlic. Garlic, yeah. See the crazy, the crazy Nana tails and potions Dude. that they have? There's they truth knew something. to it. Yeah. yeah, it is true. He's actually 65. Uh, yeah. So that's why he yes. looks so good. <laughs> that's just the Italian genes. Oh, robot shit. down. We lost our oh, robot. No, yeah, he's not right. Italian. He can, he can take a that. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> well, anyways, dude, guys, thanks for coming on. David, yeah. you're, uh, you. you've had so much success, buddy. I've known you for a long time, and it just keeps on coming. Now you're you're making your own movies, right? You're producing and acting in your own... You're, you're not... You, actually, uh, the last movie you made uh, was with your brother, right? That's right. This is the year. This yeah, is, that, yeah. Was, that was the first thing that I uh, directed. I was always a fan of... Um, coming of age films and Lorenzo had just come off a show. He was doing uh, fear of the walking dead and they murdered him on the show violently, but you mm, didn't turn yeah. into a zombie or you did. I asked them not to turn me into a zombie. So the showrunners, I didn't want to go with your hair and makeup, you yeah. know, for like 12 hours and oh. get there early. Mm. So I said, just, you know, <laughs> just take me out. And uh, they respect. Hey, come on, oh, man. Dude, imagine. this is exactly what we're imagine looking for. Imagine dying on a zombie Couldn't show imagine. and not becoming a zombie. I, You're yeah. that guy. I <laughs> saw what the extras had to go through, man. They no, had I don't the tough you. job. I yeah. They had the you. tough job. Dude, they wanted, to, they wanted to kill you off, but then they saw you had garlic cloves all over your body. And they go, <laughs> we can't. <laughs> it, the bullet didn't go through the ground. <laughs> No. So, so they had just killed him off and he became yep. available and it worked out perfectly to, to do this film together. This is the year. Yeah, it was a blast. It was a blast. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. That's awesome, man. You guys yeah. grow up together and now you work together. Is that yeah. cool or is that is that t is it tough or is it awesome? What do you it, we, we grew up, it was easy for us. I mean, we're, we're, we're like best friends, super close. Our family's very close, very Italian. Yeah. And getting into the business we were young i was nine years old he was like six, six yeah Very, at the yeah, time yeah, a little. and we got like an audition for um a manager in town 
who then sent us out for commercials and we both just started working. So it kind of just happened where we both started working as actors, doing all these national commercials. And as we grew in the business, our parents were super supportive. It was never like, you need to put food on the table, start working as an actor. It was always we were, just- We were hockey players. Like my first. parents? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your parents made, built this podcast room, right? <laughs> my parents made me work in an Italian ice stand when I was 13. I, <laughs> it's true. Hey, no, it was cool. our Italian ice stand, but- Oh, nice. I only, I only volunteered because there was gelato and I was just like, we, I ate all deal. the profits. Anyways, we went out of business quick. <laughs> <laughs> my, my career life started late. It was the opposite with my dad. He's like, focus on school. Sure. Don't get distracted by a job. Because I'm, I'm a first gen in my family. Yeah. Yeah. yeah first oh, one awesome. with a college degree, which is really cool. Congrats. Wow, yeah, that's thank awesome. you. That's awesome. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't want to say I wasn't allowed to work, but I was heavily encouraged to not work and focus on one thing. Smart. Um, this is his first job, actually. He's never, <laughs> he just started at 26. <laughs> but no, it's been cool. I mean, I, past 10 years, I've been working as an editor, which has been cool. So I, I do work. Don't, don't get, don't mistake oh, yeah. it. All right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I work. All right. You've seen his cuts. You've yeah. seen his cuts. Seen you just don't know it, but you have. Just don't yeah. Know. yeah. That's a sign of a good editor. You don't even know it. Yep. Yep. You that's feel a, it. Acting as a kid though, is so different from work. It's like, that's a, I mean, I can't imagine chi- being a child actor, dude. I, I just like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, there's some weird things. There's some weird <laughs> things. I mean, we were, we were lucky that our parents like cared and were there for us and it was never like you need this it was always like have fun yeah. so so there was never the pre- the added pressure of like having it be a necessity for sustenance it was just fun yeah. so to yeah. us we had a great time um so our, it was, it was, mom, always, it was our mom was literally every second everywhere we went my mom you know italian mom like yeah we we never left my mom it was always it was always like hey where's mom like she mm. was always with wow. us hair and makeup change you know like it, we, we yeah. always were protected yeah it sounds parents. like my mom she's actually here mom come on out <laughs> yeah she's filming right now <laughs> she's ringing the cash register back there. <laughs> she just popped out from Gelato. behind the chair <laughs> that's a that's an italian mother thing well that's i mean yeah. god i yeah I, ho- I hope they'd be there for you like that that's yes. the, a lot of kids aren't you know no, a lot of kids no. we grew up with they're in dropped you off. know a oh. uh, and all sorts of stuff i mean wow when you grow up and you don't have a when your parents need you to like provide that just makes an unhealthy kids always upbringing. had guardians growing up like like 18 plus like their cousin that was 18 that was like oh i'm on i'm on a movie set and so like we were very lucky to have our guardian was our mom yeah you know, no. our dad to come on set and you know take care of us yeah we were great grateful to have that and you've had sure. so much success now you could take care of them yeah yeah, yeah. that'll can, have to happen can. when they can no. they can, <laughs> can. won't potential yeah. maybe won't. future anyways i was gonna ask if you guys would adopt me uh, <laughs> come on Vinny. come on up come on over come yeah. on over sunday sunday dinner. sunday dennis <laughs> that's the only time you see us all right that's the only time it's the best what's, we could uh, do what's, what's your guys's favorite italian dish homemade homemade it's just a bolognese yeah, bolognese. yeah, yeah. we gotta it, it was yeah. so funny when my uh when my mom met my wife for the first time we had bolognese and it was our family. It's like our comfort food growing up. We always mm. had bolognese on Sundays and it was my Nana's Nana's recipe. So it's been handed down in the family for a very long time. So my, my wife, when we were dating, she goes, I, I need to learn this for, for David. I want to make him this meal. It'd be a great thing for me to do as we're dating. He'll, you know, that'll be a cool thing for me to learn. And, um, she, she met my mom. My mom was hesitant on, on <laughs> divulging the recipe. And then she meets my Nana and she goes, you know, Nana, can you teach me how to do the bolognese? I'll write it down and, and tell me exactly what to do. And my Nana goes, your boyfriend, girlfriend, right? And my, my, my girl wife at not wife at the time goes, yeah, yeah. And she goes, well, you're not a part of the family. I'm not giving you that. You know, she goes, the second I see a ring, then I'll, then I'll give you the recipe. But until then, absolutely Dude, not. That's how, what, how could you even ask? That's yeah. my family's the same. Yeah. It's, it's like, so it's, literally until after the marriage, she didn't get it. Like so even funny. during engagement, didn't get it. Wow. It yeah. A, it wasn't until the marriage. Is it like a linguine bolognese, a penne bolognese? You can use or different. You, you can use different. It's more about the sauce. The sauce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can, kind of, we like a pappardella with it, but yeah. although that, I know that's not traditional, but yeah, yeah we like uh, linguine is great too, but mm-hmm. it's kind of however you're feeling. Yeah. Uh, Any noodle that, that holds the sauce. Yeah. Exactly. Whatever holds the yeah. sauce. Yeah. And then a homemade bread to kind of mm. scarpetta. You, you oh, so God, dude. mop the so plate do afterwards. It. We're going to hold it. this podcast off to do a little Postmates. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You guys want some tagliatelle? Yeah. <laughs> Call Via Veneto my, and get us some bolognese over my, here. My now. go-to is, uh, um, uh, wow, I just blanked, um, a spicy fusilli. Oof. Yeah. Gosh, Which, it's so uh, good. It's funny. My friends ask me for the recipe all the time. I'm like, I don't even know it. It's just like a weird thing in my brain now at this yeah. point mm-hmm. where I'm like, 
this, 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 and it's he's done. he's the an most, excellent cook too. Oh, the great, the great part yeah. about Italian food, especially sauce heavy, is for some reason the next day it tastes even better. It's the oh, best. Yeah. It's the best leftover food. You almost don't even need to cook it at times. You just pull it out yeah. mm-hmm. and just warm it up a little bit. Throw it in yeah. there and it's just, it's awesome. When I, do my bol- when I do my bolognese, I let it cook for like 12 hours. Yes. That's the yeah. way to go. Same. Yes. Yeah. That's Same. the way to go. We'll, we'll put, slow. <laughs> put it on in the morning and then yep. dinner time it's ready. And just mm-hmm. all throughout the day, you're tasting. Yeah. You're yeah. tasting either, either all throughout the, the day. with a spoon or with the bread, you dip it on the top, get the oil from the sauce. Yeah, Something about the wooden spoon though. Oh yeah. When you do that and take that lick and just put it don't even be afraid just stick it right get, back I can't in get there. this turned on in the morning <laughs> something about, this is something about your spit on the spoon yeah. going back in there just <laughs> makes it even better hey, just give it to your brother hey try this yeah. come on the seasoning and seasoning. it depends on your relationship with your brother you give him the really hot spoon just to yes. oh. burn his mouth there's yes. nothing worse than if you actually burn your tongue in the sauce too. before oh. dinner what about a little take a little bit of white bread and just dip it in there yeah yeah. Before it's even done. Skims the oil off the top. Oh, yeah. God. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Yeah. This podcast is <laughs> it's going to be food my favorite yeah. episode. Cut, cut to us cooking in the kitchen, continuing the podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you both cook? Do you cook? Uh, I, I, I'm the grill guy. Grill guy. I'm the grill, grill master. Guy. Yeah. So I'm more, I'm more meat heavy. I, mm. I love, I love it all. I love barbecuing. I've been really getting into smoking some meats. Oh, he's a smoker. Okay. I have a I big got, barrel smoker in my oh, patio nice. in the back. Yeah. Mm. I, I just got a little camp chef thing. Oh, so nice. I've been, he has a massive Traeger that, yeah, he, massive. Oh, yeah. that he doesn't yeah. use. Pellets? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. I do pellets yeah. too. I can't do not pellets. <laughs> you, it's man. so much fun. They're so good yeah. now that you control it all from the app and you, you exactly can leave and come home and do the whole. Well, I text Vinny. I'm like, hey, what are you doing today? He goes, oh, this, this, and this, but I'm free at this. I'm like, come by. I just tried making this new recipe for ribs. Yeah, dude. Let me know uh, how it is. That's have, why have we're friends. Have you tried the three, two, one? Yeah, that's my, that's my go-to. Yeah, that's a three, go-to. two, one. It's is just like, me messing with like seasonings. What's yeah, three, yeah, two, that, one? It's a very so, basic. So three, good, three yeah. hours open on the grill. Two hours you put in, you, you then layer it. I'll put like a butter, brown sugar, maybe some apple juice. Then put in foil, wrap it, or with butcher paper. Honey. At th- two hours on there. And then, yeah, a little brown sugar. And then one hour open. Open Oof. on the grill. Yeah. Mm. And you so can't go tender. wrong. It falls off the bone. Three, two, one. Yeah. Costco, but go to Costco, buy wow. the big slab of ribs. You can. You, we can feed everyone. Here. We're not Oscar, married to our Kyle. fans, so they have to. They they we're gonna have to cut that piece, guys. You guys don't get that yet until we're married. By the way, you got lots of sponsor options for this video. <laughs> yeah. You guys yeah, you just gotta the, take brought your to pick. You by Traeger. Yeah, we got Italian food. We got <sighs> Traeger. We got you got it all. Camp Chef. You got yeah. it all. You pick. You. Dude, pick. This is the kind of stuff that's more interesting than like tell us about acting. It's like yeah, yeah. fuck it. What do you make for dinner? That's oh, what everybody yeah. wants food, to know. Food's great. It brings you around the yeah. table. It you does. I look forward to Sundays. I, as yeah. I, as I got older too, I don't know if you felt this but like as i got older i went through a phase in like my early 20s where it was all about going out but mm. then going into early and mid 20s it all became about staying in yeah like i so looked forward to like yeah. cooking drinking with friends and but keeping it all in the house around mm. the dinner table yeah. that was that became so much more appealing to me same uh, well, aside just from food for me i'm like a year ahead of most of my friends like age-wise and mentally um <laughs> but like exactly even in college months. like by senior year like i was over going out to the bars and everything while everyone was yeah. still doing it and then like my younger friends when they got to my age like i see what you mean like i don't need to go out every single thursday night and yeah Nothing good happens after midnight dude yeah. and i'll yeah. end the pandemic same yeah. like yeah. i used to be the most extroverted extroverted person on the planet mm-hmm. you probably even remember me more of oh, an yeah. extroverted yeah. type person i don't even i don't like to go out at all i hate it i i'm I, such I, a homebody i just want to stay in Plus two, when you, you know, it sounds like you guys cook, like when you could make a steak better than most restaurants, I mean, unless yeah. you're going to a really nice restaurant, but like, I, I would rather spend the money going to a, get oh, nice 100%, meat. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. I'd rather go get a great cut of meat, make it myself. I don't know what it is, but I feel like in the past six months, steak, a good steakhouse went from like $60 a steak to like just 90. went boom, 120. Yeah. Like out of nowhere. Well, everything, dude. Yeah. Everything. Inflation. Eggs, you have to have like seven Bitcoin and you have to donate a <laughs> kidney. Like what? Actually, Costco just took their restriction off the egg limit that you could buy. Oh, really? The world is healing. Oh, yeah. wow. That's they, how you know. They took the restriction egg. off, meaning like. Like they said like only like two cartons of eggs per person. So, oh, oh. Yeah. But now it's a sign that says 24? no egg limit. Apparently Ooh, chickens are God fertile damn. again. Oh. Yeah. That explains why I went to Costco and there was no eggs. There you go. It's just, just a guy walking out with it was, like, it, was, it was like in COVID where everyone was like hoarding toilet paper. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's oh, like, dude, <laughs> and you know what's crazy? Because we, we recently moved yeah. to Idaho. So we, mm-hmm. moved, we, we vacationed in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho for a long time. Dear friends there. During the pandemic, we moved. 
And I never experienced this in L- in LA, but in Idaho, everyone's got chickens. Everyone has. Mm. Oh, I so, buy chickens yeah. off eggs in abundance. <laughs> like, on, like, dude, you don't on their properties or what? Yes, I, on their properties. Every you, other you, day, I'm I get hit up. Hey, you want to buy a dozen eggs or like? Or hey, here's just, a dozen eggs. I left some, them on your front you door. Know, we're butchering the pig. You want to buy some off? Uh-huh. And I'm like, yeah, I would love some. It's Everyone's like, got eggs. There was no egg dude. shortage in Idaho. <laughs> Everyone has eggs, and they're all yeah. It tastes like but, it came. Oh, you don't put it in the fridge. Right from the chicken. Yeah. Dude, you you've officially become wizards of a Waverly place. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just living living in the middle of nowhere. Oh, it's oh, crazy, yeah. See, dude. I, I wouldn't mind having a chicken coop, but I live up in the hills, so like I got like coyotes and mountain oh, yeah, lions up here. Like, be careful. it's a very expensive dinner for a you'd coyote. Ha- you'd yes. have to get a big dog to protect yeah. the chickens. Mm. Too bad my big dog is a dope and barks <laughs> at her own reflection. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, Man. Is, and is afraid of the Roomba. Like, she's not going to fight a mountain lion. She's good. So when kids go trick-or-treating in your neighborhood, they just get chicken wings instead of candy? Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. yeah candy wings. Barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. So you both live in Idaho? Yeah. We're yeah. like 10 minutes from each other. Now, so you're, did, did someone move first and inspire the other to move? Or is it a I actually decision? moved first. He moved first because he got into a place quicker than me. But mm. I, we all moved. Our, our, my dad, my mom, our families, we all went at the same time. We've been wanting to go for a while just because we're having little kids and stuff. And we wanted them to grow up in nature, hiking, yeah. lake, four outdoors. Seasons. Four mm. seasons. Just wanted them to have that experience. And But we're like, we work here. This is where we do everything. Nice. Pandemic hit. And we're, and we're producing a show for Netflix at the time for your pop. Never heard of it. And uh, <laughs> and and we could do it remotely. It was an animated show. And yeah. we could do it all remote. So we said, let's just go, you know, let's make the move. And wow. so we produced the whole thing from there. And it was an absolute blast. Show Beautiful you. over there. It's, it's cool. gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Good skiing. It's a real it's winter. Schweitzer. Yeah. Schweitzer yeah. Mountain. And you guys winter. both have kids. How many kids and how old are they? Uh, so I have four. Four boys. Four kids. Four yeah. boys. 29. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. By the way, totally normal in Idaho. Yeah. Totally, totally yeah. normal I'm like, in Idaho. Yeah. Four boys? Four boys. Yeah. One more. God. We have a basketball team. <laughs> wow. How, Watch out, Nuggets. What are the ages? <laughs> uh, six, four, two, and... He's uh, Aunt, my youngest, Anthony. I have an Anthony. He's about 10 months. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. Crazy, yeah. dude. Congrats. And at, at 29? At 20, yeah, I'm turning 30 that, this that's month. That's a so. dream, man. Wow. I mean, at least for me, <laughs> at least for me I, 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 I do want to say, like, for me, like, my my life path that I, like, envision is, like, by my 30s, like, early 30s, I want to start having my family. So oh, dude, it's... And it's, grind my early 20s, enjoy my late 20s, family early 30s. Yeah. yeah that that is, was my path. I got married late 20s. Started having kids. We got three now. And talk about like wanting to, you know, maybe not go out as much and staying with the family. Yeah. When you have kids, it just, it suddenly is a whole nother level of enjoyment. I bet. Like yeah. getting it to really make them is. food and yeah. celebrate life with them together, spend the weekends together, go hiking yeah. with them. It's a whole nother thing. It's like Christmas is so much better I with bet. kids, giving them <laughs> gifts and seeing yeah. their little faces. <laughs> It's so much better than getting them. Yeah. We, we were at we we took the kids to suit the new Mario movie, mm. oh, and we were we were like laughing more than the kids. <laughs> no. oh, I sat all, all the jokes. I sat them all down before the movie, and I was like, "Listen to me. I know I'm not very strict a lot of the times, but but if any of you make a noise during this movie, I will be furious. <laughs> I've been waiting for this movie for so long, yeah. and if you ruin this fun. for me, it was a blast. They enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. Mario Relax. Mario Home Run. Home yeah, run. It was fun. awesome. For, for the family too, that's like, it's it like nostalgic yeah. for us, yeah. but have also to your kids that get to experience that something we grew up with. Dude, that was say, experiencing your kids first must be such a great moment too. Like first steps, first bike, oh. bike, bike, bike riding. Bike riding. So, yeah. so my six year old, my four year old, they learned how to ride the bike at the same time. We bike mm. every single day, yeah. every single day. It is so cool. Wow. That's yeah. how me and my sister were. I, I got, we got our bikes at the same time Christmas uh, learned how to ride. I'm doing circles in the garage. Uh, and the second I took my training wheels off, my sister said, I'm taking my training wheels that, off. That was the boy. But oh. she's older than me. So okay. like, it was always like a competitive oh, day. Oh, you guys had that? It was always competitive. And then, um, and then, you know, as we were growing up in high school, we were at each other's throats all the time. She was, you know, typical older sister, <laughs> you know, yeah. bullying me. Who got their license uh, first. Been yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, she is, she was in a relationship and her boyfriend would drive her everywhere, so she never felt like she needed to get a license. Sure. And then I hit 15, I got my permit immediately. Oh, best feeling. And then 16, I got my license. And at the week I got my license, she got hers. <laughs> you know funny. what I noticed yeah. a big shift in kid nowadays is, like when I was getting about to drive, 14, 15 years old, getting ready, get, approaching that age where I would get a license, 
like the day it was available to get my permit, I was there. in there and I was Same. passing that freaking yes. test. Yeah. All the 15 year olds I meet that should be getting their permits now, like every single kid I meet that's 15, zero interest in driving. Yeah, that's yeah. so weird. Well, zero interest. Mind. That what like the a, heck? That was a milestone in my life. Like, that's yeah. a, that what was a is checkpoint. The, yeah. You know, macro sociological change in child that they don't want to drive. Yeah, I was TikTok. thinking about this. Funny you say <laughs> that. Yeah. TikTok. TikTok. It's all, no, that's it. TikTok. Yeah, man. No, they that's be, seriously it. Influencers. When we yeah. grew up, we were outside. Yeah. Like, like we did stuff. Yeah. I touched yes. grass. Wow, that's got, now that's now 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 you're bragging. That's controversial. That's, <laughs> that's awesome, yeah. dude. You had grass? What the? Yeah. It was real grass and not was, astroturf. Yeah. It's an issue. Wow, Go grounding. Yeah, dude. It's but we had, had stuff though. I had real dirt on my shorts. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Like Crazy. that's see that's a childhood. Drank people. water out of the hose. Now it's just watching <laughs> Gary. That's why feed. I never got COVID? <laughs> that hose water. But I don't. <laughs> hose water did. Hose water was the first COVID yeah. vaccine. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Especially Filter when you get it warm. It's been sitting there in the hose so that, yeah. that first the marinated that, water the yeah. marinated yeah. water it was hot it was hot water or so whatever like a tire there. when it comes out wow <laughs> dang some chunks of something but no i don't get it why don't kids want to drive because they like, have so much shit they're doing shit they don't yeah even... some of them have been honest with me they're like i'm just not i don't have the coordination and it's like all of humanity drives like yeah. what's up suddenly it's unacceptable really stick shift you did stick yeah we wow. both had stick he had oh, the, yeah yeah, we. That's impressive. Yeah, See, okay. I know how to drive stick, but I choose not to because I live in LA. That yeah. is true. That was not yeah. I get if you live in a big city, if you live in New York, yeah, or you yeah, live yeah. in a, or places in Europe where you walk, yeah. it's like stop, not a go, thing. Stop, go and, but most of America, I never not learned. That. Yeah, driving stick is it's so much fun. I know. I I just yeah. I never. See, I, I, I liked it because it kept me focused. Not that yeah. I had a problem not being focused while driving, but I got, I got bored. Drive. Yeah. yeah, while I was driving, mm. I, yeah. I actually I like do. driving around here in LA stick because it's yeah. it's it get yeah you're right you're on the freeway it's fun it's yeah my dad has a old Alfa Romeo up in our place in Montecito and oh, it's nice. like stick and like he hasn't driven stick since he was like you know younger when he got his first car so he loves going up there and driving it around it's a little so tiny, fun I had, tiny so, clown I had car. the new Alfa when it came out oh nice I nice, had so yeah. it was a lease but I I yeah. that car was so much fun. Yeah. I wish I knew. It's how. a fun little car, and we drive it's around easy. Montecito, and that's awesome. That's that cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. I'll learn. Can you drive a? Do you know how to ride a dirt bike? I just did one time. I went with Mary, our friend Mary, uh, a long time ago, uh, a couple years ago, and it we and I was like, yeah, I'll learn. And then we went to these we went, like we went to these mountains with dirt paths that were the size of this table, and I was just oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was like, <laughs> what do we do? They were literally trying to kill me at that point. Yep. I wish I, were, I learned in a very easy yeah. place. Ever since then, it was fun, but I was just so scared to go back. Like they went back last weekend or whatever, and I was I was just like, Ugh, I'm good. I'm good on that. I don't need, <laughs> yeah, I don't need to go on dirt bikes. I'll, I'll go on a, a quad or an ATV or Quads a four by four. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my mom lives out in Arizona, and she has oh, a nice. couple of quads them, are yeah. fun. Um, they have a quad. Still, uh, your mom yeah, has a yeah, quad yeah. still. They, they, have, they have two quads. Uh, my stepdad has a dirt bike, and then they just got rid of their Can Am. They're four by four. Oh, dude, uh, I love ever. Yeah, ever. Yeah. Let's take a quad. Four. Let's go. I, I want to go quad and with you. So dude. yeah, I mean, were you guys born in Arizona? You, I yeah, I think you mentioned I was, Arizona. He was born in I was Arizona. born. I was born in Mission Viejo. Okay, and then we grew up. Go, we grade school was in Arizona, and then started coming to California. Nice. So often all our families in it. We go to Arizona. Every, I'm Arizona native as well. Oh really? So yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah born, Phoenix, um, Glendale. Okay, not yeah, too yeah. far. Not too far. Um, yeah, so born there, but at a young age, moved to California because my dad started with Netflix. And, yeah, uh, yeah. But all of our family's still there. And as soon as I went off to college, my mom moved back mm. and she was up in New River. Okay. Uh, which is up by like Anthem, like okay, half, yeah, half, yeah, halfway we're to. We're up in, up in uh, Cave Creek area, which isn't oh, too yeah. far from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how old were you when you came to California? Oh, I was yeah, Vinny's like lost. Like, like, yeah. like no, I'm did, watching I all think, these Arizona was, boys here. I think I just started kindergarten when I moved here or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we met um, we met then when you were 12 or 11? Must have been, yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably probably 11. So I've known you for 10, like 13 years, I Dude, think. Good, good amount of time. Yeah. Good yeah. amount of time. Wow. We, go, we go back. I, mean, I showed you that picture of me and Selena. We all go back. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. I remember. I remember when. I remember when you came. I met you and your dad. You, it, Netflix was a new thing. Yeah, they were still doing DVDs. I think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember your dad was like such a honest guy. He was yeah. like, I, "I think it's gonna work. We're 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 yeah. figuring it out. I think it's gonna work. It sounds." I mean, his roots are from a video rental store. He was the, wow. he was the regional manager of a video rental store in wow. in Arizona or, so, or New Jersey, one of the two. I don't remember. But kind, yeah. kind of crazy. I just I just remembered this. The uh, when I was sixteen, I was I think I could be wrong, but uh, there was a short film festival um 
with that Netflix was doing and whoever won the festival, it was going to be the first fully funded. Oh, yeah. ne- I was. Yeah, he was the that. first was the Netflix original. Movie. Really? He was the lead of the first yeah. Netflix original. Wow. Film. Again, I'm going to have to Google that, but it, it was. No, that's what they six, said at the yeah, time. It's yeah. like you won the festival and then. I wasn't in the short. They just cast me in the in the, the movie. It was. Um, yeah, they lied to you. No, <laughs> <laughs> no that's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, now that I'm remembering <laughs> that, cool. that's, that's crazy. We, we all have wow. deep roots here. Look at yeah, that. that was crazy. Yeah. And I remember Dude. we were with, um, it was Peter Billingsley and Vince Vaughn. Yeah. Your dad and they all came and I remember Pete and Vince were like, "Yeah, this Netflix thing, it's cutting edge." You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I think, I think it could work. There, <laughs> DVD rentals. I've been trying to get places. his dad to go back to doing DVDs again, just because times are changing. You it's know, like, well, you failed because they just cut it out. So. <laughs> <laughs> Send them back. Go back to DVDs. Yeah. So I just moved, and uh, I, I was going through. You know, when you move, you find things that you didn't yeah. know you had. I had a Netflix rental that I never returned in the sleeve. <laughs> no, was the no movie. late fees. No, no late. late. Oh, the that's late late why we're having you here today. We're here to. We're here to collect. Yeah, we're here to collect. Come on. <laughs> I think it was Gladiator was the, was the DVD, oh, but I pulled it out. No, no scratches on it. Mm-hmm, that's no what they scratches. all say. Yeah. And then I, I ran it the same one. It was like, <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. No, I think, uh, yeah, my first memory of, of that meeting was, uh, I think, I don't remember who you were with, but you were playing Xbox. Oh yeah. And, oh, boy. and I remember in I, David's room, I, in I my dressing room. I, I think it was in your dressing room. Yeah. Um, I had the Xbox yeah. set up. Was it probably uh, Halo? I, yeah, it, it must have been Halo or something. <laughs> it was, it was right when I first got the Xbox 360, so I was like really new to it. And I'm like, yeah, I just started playing online. You're like, play online with us sometime. And like, oh, no. I, I think your gamer tag at the time was like one of the Power Ranger. Yeah, Red Ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We were My the clan was the Rangers. The Rangers. Well, we had yeah. Red Ranger, yeah. Green Ranger, yeah. White Ranger. That was just like a, a something that stuck with me. Uh, and like, did we play together? Yeah, we did. We did <laughs> play. We ended yeah, up playing dude, together. We played yeah. online. Yeah. Wow, that yeah. just came back to me. Yeah. Oh man, we played Xbox together. That's, that's so crazy. cool. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. Halo is the mm-hmm. great was the, the greatest it, thing on earth. It Custom was. games. Oh, oh dude, back yeah. when it when it actually went live, it was like gr- a groundbreaking, yeah. earth shattering thing that you could play with people, and talk to someone. Mm-hmm. My that friends used my to mind. carry their Xbox over to my house. Yeah, and parties. we would have like four v four parties, or like yeah. even bigger than that. We'd bring TVs too. Like that was the way you played with other people. Yeah. I like, used to skip classes to just to play, play Halo. To play Halo, I would. Yeah. Nice. And now I just tell fart jokes. Well, I mean, that's <laughs> the beauty of like editing <laughs> too, because like with editing rigs, to have a good editing computer, it's also a really good gaming computer. Uh, so me and my buddies, who I I also played Halo with, like all of them, mm-hmm. uh, they have the remastered versions of Halo now. We, we tried it. Uh, so every single year we do a playthrough where we all play through every single campaign together. Oh, nice. once a year, yeah, yeah. like that one through cool. five or however many Halo games we are. played it for, for like with like one week and then we stopped. When, when it first came out, yeah. well, that's, that was the issue with the new Halo game. They didn't like, yeah, I don't know. They, it, it, was, something. It, just, it was a miss when yeah. when live first came on. Did yeah. you do voices and pretend you were not yourself? I did the. Hey guys, yeah, what's up? Uh, I tried making my voice deeper when I, you know, I was little, so like I, I had a little high voice. So I tried making it like deeper. Yeah, grown ass man. Yeah. Hey, it's me, it's Billy. <laughs> yeah, and then I quickly went from Halo lobbies to Call of Duty lobbies. Yeah, and Call, and yeah. I experienced racism for the first time. <laughs> oh, Toxic. Wow. Those, as those early F. Call of Duty lobbies, like <sighs> FBI agents were having a field day. I'll wow. just say that. Oh, yeah. yeah. People were yeah. saying some shit in those yeah. lobbies. Yeah. A lot of locker room talk. Yeah. Yes. That's for sure. Yes. Yeah. You Def- definitely way too young to be experiencing all that. And my dad had no idea how any of that worked. So just, oh, it's totally unregulated. I mean, it was like, yeah, yeah. you can say whatever you want. I never yeah. got into call of duty. It was always halo for halo. me. And then world mm-hmm. of Warcraft. Okay. <laughs> well, we were doing call of duty and then I played the new one with Vinny and I was just so trash at it. I'm like, I'm getting old now. I'm it was washed. a lot more technical. Oh, yeah. yeah. I still play it. Yeah. yeah I guess <laughs> I'm washed. I'll leave guys. If you don't want me here. <laughs> no, I, I I, yeah. I will like watching it. So I, n- I never got into World of Warcraft, but recently yeah. I just picked up Diablo Four. Okay, which it's it's the same deal, but instead of having like seven different bars of skills, you have just four skills, and then you're mm. left click and right click. But same top down dungeon crawling, mm. loot building type of thing. Nice. And never got into Diablo. But it has a hold on me. I will tell you that yeah. right now. I was playing till like three a.m. last night. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it's dude. a fun one. Those games are addicting. Yeah, video games. Are, uh, I, forget, I wanted to ask you guys, do you have siblings besides you two? Just, no, it's just, just us. us. Yeah, A lot oh, of cousins. Just us, yeah. A lot of cousins. A lot of cousins. There's got to be. Yeah. A lot of, yeah. got to be a lot of cousins. Yeah. Just you two. Oh, man, dude. All right. Did you guys get along when you were kids? Or yeah, yeah. was it a you know typical brother relationship fighting? We, and- we fought a lot until we both, 
I think we're teenagers. Yeah. When we became teenagers, mm-hmm. we're like, we're best friends. Yeah. yeah. But before then, I was three, four years older than him. So I didn't, he wasn't yeah. cool to Little me. Little brother. I had my mm-hmm. own friends. Sounds and then like me and my t- sister. Teenage years, we like suddenly were like, yeah. grow became up. best friends yeah. and had each other's backs. And yeah. Same, cool. same. Now, are you the godfather to his kids? Oh, 100%. yeah. And vice oh, versa? Yeah. yeah oh, we, yeah. All the, they'll never be other godfathers to wow. our children. <laughs> we don't even ask each other now. It's just like, it's hey, the like, baptism's hey, tomorrow. You're there, right? Yeah, of course. Like, did they call you Uncle Zoe? Uncle Zozo. Uncle Zozo. And Uncle I'm, I'm Uncle Day Day. <laughs> I'm Uncle Day Day. Can I call you Uncle Day Day? You can call me Uncle Day Day. That's my new gamer tag, Uncle Day Day. Love it. When, when my kids are messing with me, they'll call me Day Day. Cool. How old are your it's kids? so funny. Uh, four, two, and 10 months. Four, two, and you both had 10 months. Wow. My, yeah. my son thinks it's so funny to call me Day Day or Poo Poo. <laughs> he just doesn't stop laughing. <laughs> something very primal about poo poo. Yeah. Wow, I'm gonna call you poo poo instead. It's, That's it's more a thing fun. with fart jokes. Yeah, yeah. they're never not funny. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm they're, a grown man and I still enjoy them. Yeah. Oh, it's great with kids. Your kids make you feel like you're the funniest person on earth. <laughs> yeah, my I have nieces and a nephew, and when I Facetime them or I, when I see them, I always just go like this, <laughs> and they, it's our thing now. It's just, for whatever reason. But they love it. Just, they die. Mm. I do with all kids, and they love it. Someone sent us uh, this thing called Duck Duck Fart. Oh no! And my, it was genius. Like my kids were occupied for three hours. How's it work? Duck Duck. Oh. and that's who's picked. And that's and then who's picked. And then they run. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It was so yeah, pretty brilliant. Can we play that right now, guys? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> just duck, duck, fart. Just real quick, real quick. We're gonna cut. We're gonna do a little duck duck fart. Come back. All they talk <laughs> poo poo to them is so funny. And my yeah. da- my dad, you know, he's grandpa now. All he does is encourage the the poo poo and fart stuff. So mm-hmm. when he's with them, he thinks it's so funny, and and it's like he he a new side of him came out when he became a grandfather. He's like, I wish I would have skipped kids and went straight to having grandkids because it's way better. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is, but something came out of him where I'm like, I never saw this side of you. Like really, yeah, mm-hmm. oh yeah. This whole, whole other less, loving, less pressure, loving, as less a, pressure. My, loving I, affectionate thing came out of him. He's like taking them to golf lessons. Oh and yeah, like, you both he, golf. He, he calls oh, yeah. them. I love golfing. Yeah, I love golfing. We'll have to do it. 100%. Cut. Some I'm of the down. best courses are in Idaho. Really? Some of the most beautiful yeah. courses. Dude. Lakeside. Floating green. We got a floating green. You do? Par three. Yeah. I'm One either, of Tiger's favorite uh, courses. I'm either pretty good at golf or really bad at golf. Same. Yeah. Same. That's golf. Do you yeah. see the whole live PGA merger? Like overnight? Insane. Insane. Yep. Dude, it's all I wild. Would, I would feel I would, so bad if I, I was one of the PGI guy, yeah. PGA guys and like all my buddies who left and went and took nine figure things can't come back in with their money and I'm just yeah. sitting here like, Rory what did I get for like, being loyal? Right. Rory could have made so much money on live. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So much. We're going to have to uh, come out and make a trip and then do some Idaho golf. Yeah. Oh, dude, come. Absolutely, we'll, yeah. yeah. I would love to. That'd be cool. Be some one. great courses. We, we got that on camera, so now we're going to send it to you. We'll get, out, we'll get out on the lake. We'll do the boat thing. <laughs> yes. It's a blast. Oh, man. you got it's a boat a too? We, there's a, um, they have clubs there that you rent. Oh. So you don't, it's kind of, you get into like an ownership of a bunch of boats. So it's a timeshare for boats. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, that and makes you sense. You don't got to deal with the headache, like having yeah. to trailer it and drop it off. Oh, nice. During, during, during the stuff. winter time, it's, it's kind of a headache. That's cool. The kids probably love it. Oh, so much. Oh, they go nuts. They go nuts. Do you guys fish? at all i do yeah fly yeah. we're learning fly yeah. fishing fly fishing is tough fly fishing I, I, i'm, really a, I'm a big fisher fisherman guy yeah oh, really? I, I, love I love fishing fly fishing uh well we used to have a house in malibu so i did a lot of like offshore fishing nice and uh certain times of the year uh the house was right on the beach like on the sand Oof. and certain times of the year the water would come up and actually like, break on our stairs to go down to the beach yeah so i would just sit on the balcony with a rod and reel and just oh that's toss awesome. it out and that's the best catch whatever this um, is so much fun. It but is, when, man. When I was in Tahiti uh, a couple years ago, I tried doing fly fishing, and I have so much respect for people who do it. It's tough. Yeah, and I know um, Jimmy Kimmel loves fly fishing. Oh, wow. Like, it, really? If you hit, That's it's cool. like super addictive because there is some precision rewarding. to it. It's almost like you're playing a, a game. Yeah. Uh, you know those games you play, you go to the um, arcade, you shoot the duck or whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of fun like that where if you, if you see that fish coming, mm-hmm. you hit it right. You get that fly a certain distance in front of him. Pull it slowly. Yeah. yeah pull and yang. It's very it, You can technical. actually, it's yeah. a very rewarding feeling. Yeah. Mm. But if you don't go with a good guide, you got to get the guide yeah, and you do the float. If you don't have a good guide, then you're just sitting there. I had one of the worst experiences of my life <laughs> where we hired this guy and it was an eight hour float. And, uh, you know, we're, we're expecting to hit fish all day long. Didn't catch a thing. So after hour four, all the beer was drank and it's just me, my dad and this, this instructor and I was like, I'm get getting invited. nothing out of this. Mm-hmm. We're not catching a fish. I'm getting nothing out of this. So I told the guy, I'm paddling, so I'm going to get a workout at least. Mm-hmm. So for the last four hours, I rode, 
and I got a great back workout. So at least <laughs> I got something out of the trip because yeah. I didn't get a single fish. This yeah. is exhausting when you go out. I did. I, I so many times I used to go out with my dad and we used to try to, you know, fish this lake in Ohio and we we used to go for like walleye or a crappie, like sure. mm-hmm. just depends, but you'd sit there and you just jig. So we didn't, the fly fishing, at least it feels like you're busy, you yeah. know, but when you're just yeah. sitting there jigging mm-hmm. and you're just waiting yeah. and then you go hours without catching anything, you're like, the fuck am well, I doing here? <laughs> Talk about that. My neighbor across the street, he's a huge fisherman, has his own boat. He goes offshore all the time, comes nice. home with like giant tuna or yes. like bear money yes. or whatever. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and it was the other yesterday or the day before he comes back with his buddy and they're like empty handed. I see them unloading. I'm like, Oh, how'd it go? And he goes, we were, uh, we, we did like 260 miles, not a single bite. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oof. yeah. That's insane. They, they were out for like 16 hours. Oh, like, oh that sucks. God. Came home empty handed. That like, sucks. That There's something sucks. about fishing though, that teaches you patience, mm-hmm. which I think for young people, especially yeah. now, like our kids, it's like golf, stuff, that's yeah. golf. Same teaches thing. teaches you patience Your and, kids, and well, they need that. So they're what, not always they on fish. the phone. What I loved that. about it is since I, I love cooking as well, the whole catch and cook. Yes. Type of deal. Yes. Um, so one summer when I was living at the Malibu house because I was working in Santa Monica, uh, you know, I would come home from work every night, 6 p.m. We got the high tide. I would just be fishing off the shore, you know, catch a yellow croaker and make fish tacos for dinner. That's oh, awesome. that's aw- that's um, the way to do you it. You got to be a good fisherman in order to eat, though. It's like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, uh, it teaches you about, like, what rigs to set up and, yep. you know, what God. fish like what. And, I mean, I learned the secret for shore fishing is – most fish you catch off, catch off the shore, they eat like sand fleas or like little squid or whatever. So you use that bait. Oh, you have to mm, bait accordingly. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. You can't just like throw on like something random and expect to catch like a night crawler. Sh- yeah. yeah, sea fishing is so different. Yeah, it's such a different I, beast. I'm very new to freshwater fishing. Yeah, but but saltwater fishing, I, that's See, my jam. That's my, the opposite. When you come up, we'll take you guys fishing. Oh, and let's we'll do it. Something yeah. on the lake that's yeah, yeah, yeah. beautiful. My uncle and, uh, does. He catches tuna, marlin. He has a boat yeah. in um, in Cabo. Mm-hmm. And he, he's a serious fisherman. He'll oh, do yeah, he'll do sashimi right then and there on yeah. the boat. Wow. Sashimi, it's like better than any place you'll ever go. Delicious. That's so Delicious. Yeah, that's it's, awesome. It's my immediate activity whenever I go to the Bahamas, I just go out and go fishing like for three days straight. Oh, oh I love so it. Go cool. out all day, come awesome. back, bring the you know dinner back for everybody, the and best. go out again. Yeah, it yeah. is. And my You're, dad's like, "Don't you want to like relax and enjoy the vacation?" I'm like, "This is my vacation." Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, "Go get your massage. I'll be on the boat." <laughs> That's awesome. That's the yeah. best. Right. You, are you are you going to get your kids into fishing and golf as well? Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. my boys they they golf and fish. Nice. Yeah, nice. yeah, they love it. They love Some it. of our best times is playing golf with our dad, just the three of yeah. us, like out there on the course, smoke a cigar. That's yeah. the best. Ooh. Chill. I just yeah. got into cigars. I love that. I love cigars. Yeah, same. So I'm starting to love that. Too. The, the, house, the house I built in uh, Idaho, we have a um, built-in cigar room. Oh, so it's fully it's ventilated. Cold. No way. Fully ventilated. So you're in. It doesn't smell at all. I'm addicted now. I don't know. It's I just addicted. got addicted. I just started smoking <laughs> them in the last I, couple I months. I don't smoke a ton, but like, you know. Well, it depends on what you consider a ton, but like every day, a few times a month. No. Oh, a few times a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, on the man. weekends, few times. I'm you doing. Know. I'm doing a. I'm at the point where I'm doing a, like a couple a week. That's I got. Not some, bad. That's I, not bad. I, I, I got some in my car. I actually, I was, I was, yeah. I was, I'm going to leave here and just smoke it all the <laughs> week. Yeah, your bastards like just <laughs> yelling at kids. But no, you just it, as long as you get the ventilation right, it's really easy. Yeah, you wow. can set it up in here if you have the right ventilation. No way. Sticks, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Son of a bitch. You guys are going to get your kids smoking cigars, being like 50-year-old, 10-year-olds, smoking cigars, golfing. Yeah. Love that. We, we, gonna, we had a friend over a couple months ago. We did a Downton Abbey-themed party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it was it, awesome. It was great. And we uh, Buddy hired some violinists, and they played, played the, the theme, Downton the theme song, and mm. then we went into the the drawing room and smoke some cigars and awesome. it was we all, we're all tuxes. wearing tuxes you guys are officially old as fuck <laughs> yeah i know you guys are looking at us like why are they here? we had a great blast. time we had a lady playing harp at my birthday <laughs> <laughs> all right these guys gave up they're just 30 <laughs> 70 <laughs> Hired the so, lady from the funeral house to yeah. play harp for us. And she was the, uh, sizing the a funeral side. house. Yeah, she finished with a death. Uh, like, it was pretty cool. Were or are you guys like competitive with each other at all, or like growing oh, up? Yeah, now in golf, yeah, yeah. yeah. now yeah. in golf, golf for sure, pretty for sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's way worse than me, so no. it'll take a long time no, to catch up, like a long time. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to teach him how to play. He doesn't listen to me. 
All, oh. the, it's he watches a YouTube video and thinks he's an expert. I can't imagine being a professional in anything in our day and age with the Google universe that's out there. Like, yeah. you go to a doctor now, and the doctor's like, oh, I think you have this. And you're like, actually, I Googled it beforehand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Google told me to look out for this. Like, I couldn't imagine being a professional in anything these it's days. True. In anything. I feel like you know it he all He watches now. a YouTube video and thinks he knows more than Tiger. I mean, to be fair, I'm self-taught on all editing software is through YouTube. Oh, so. that's cool. And it, it, there's practical, yeah. absolutely. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're learning from the best. Yeah, so I mean, there's yeah. There's, there's learning there. there's learning and practice you know yes. like you could you could learn as much as you want but if you don't practice you're gonna oh be yeah trash, you right? have to golf is all about practice you're the younger yeah. brother though so I you so younger. this is so you didn't really like he he's all David, about the youtube David, tutorials he's been First. golfing a little bit longer than me mm -hmm. uh, so i just started and i just have a natural athleticism that he <laughs> doesn't that helps no, that puts no, me we, over the we edge grew up play, <laughs> we grew up playing hockey competitive hockey so <clears throat> Hockey has a very similar mm. swing path. You're leaning on the front left foot. I keep on telling him, lean on your front left foot. It'll ch it'll straighten that ball out. And you the hand-eye coordination with hockey's hockey's mm. there for sure. You guys into yeah, hockey see, at all? I, I'm I, not. I, but I love watching hockey. I grew up playing baseball, so golf. Okay. Is okay. A little, golf is a little harder for me. That, but it does have the, that the, shallow yeah, into the club. The the movement is fine, but it's the the You're pressure leaning on, on the your leg. front back. Yeah, because normally you know I, I'm I'm. Uh, uh, you, when you're batting, you're on your back right foot. Yes, and you, you kind of right. like you tap with your left foot almost. Yes. So it's opposite, and it's I don't know. It confuses me sometimes, but I, I got my drive down. I could hit there the ball go. pretty far, so there I got that go. part yeah. down. Baseball players can crush the ball. Yeah, they yeah. crush the ball. Yeah, the driving range is one of my favorite activities. Like I, I so just, much fun. Just go mm, relax, yeah. go chip. If you're putt. stressed, just smack them as hard as you want. Don't worry. Oh about yeah, going. Yeah, it's great. Bingo. Oh yeah, you guys. But, uh, but growing up with like even like the acting stuff, like if one person got a role and the other didn't, were you guys like competitive, like trying to one up the next? Or no. we, what's like interesting that? is we never really competed for roles because he was younger and mm -hmm. and growing up too. He he because he had such tan skin, he would go out for more for and all acting. sorts of random roles. Yeah. Right, and and so we we never really competed. One time it came down to like that's you and Raven. me for Cheaper by the Dozen, and then that's so Raven. That's so Raven. It was like you, me, and Taylor Lautner for Cheaper by the Dozen. Yeah, something like that. And then neither of us got it. Yeah, <laughs> Taylor Lautner got it. Taylor, Taylor, who's a buddy by the way. Love that guy. Yeah, love that guy. I, uh, so fun. He's got yeah. a place in Idaho. I've, I've up, met, I've met him and, and interacted with him a few times recently because of my time at Happy Madison. And he, you know, oh no, nice. oh yeah, they yeah. love him. Yeah, he got into their camp and uh, yeah, he's awesome. He's a he's, great guy. He's, the two, the two guy. Taylors, him and his baseball. Wife. He's a good baseball player. Yeah, Taylor. Oh, two, Taylor Taylor Lautners. Lautners. Yeah. two Taylor Lautners. How funny is that? Him and that wife, is two yeah. Taylor Lautners. Oh, that's weird. Sweet, yeah. sweet late, sweet girl. Yeah. His wife's Taylor. He's Taylor. That's I didn't know that. Yeah. Isn't that great? That's crazy. That's yeah. Crazy. yeah. <laughs> what? Taylor. They both turned Taylor. Out Taylor. Wow. I'm, I actually have a girlfriend named Vinny Fastline. So <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about your right hand? Or <laughs> <laughs> I have two girlfriends. <laughs> It's a menage a trois. <laughs> uh, well, uh, yeah, so you guys didn't so really go out for the same roles. And didn't really no, go out for the no, same roles, except, no. for, except yeah. for those couple yeah, times. Yeah, that, that's that a Raven. Never... That was probably the only one mm -hmm. that was uh, that launched you into Wizards. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That but was, now, uh, you're, well, now you're working on stuff together, which is like, yes, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, as we got older, we were like, we built up a lot of great relationships in the industry, and we, I think, became more motivated to do things that we you get into the business for a certain reason, right? As an actor, as an entertainer, wh whatever it is, you get in the business and there's a certain motive. And I think for us, it was like trying to make content that left a special feeling on mm. people, something that could be elevating, right? That, that, that magical cinema feeling, right? It's hard to even describe. And as we got older, we, we just built so many good relationships that we were like, you know, let's try to like make things ourselves and let's try to recreate that feeling, try to make things that can give us that magical feeling. And we, I remember we had a couple encounters with some mentor-like figures who encouraged us to, to get behind the camera. One of them was Stallone, mm. who would visit us on Wizards of Waverly Place all the time. No way, go, cool. hey, David, you need to control your career, and you, know, you need to take, take control. It's <laughs> the only yeah, way. You know, I was doing Rocky. No one even knows Rocky anymore. My kids don't know Rocky. They know your show. They don't know me. And, <laughs> wow. And um, cool. he told me this really inspirational story of how he like, helped found Panerai. He like discovered it in an old pirate ship and which watch is it? Panerai? Panerai, which it's is huge. like an amazing huge. watch. It's, yeah. a, it's a beautiful watch. Panerai's and he's like, it was in this like old wooden movie set ship and he he like you found it and took control and ownership and you know the owner in it and mm. all about taking control of your life, taking control of your career. And that inspired me to like go um behind the camera on Wizards. I was like one of the youngest writers in Disney Channel history, so I got to write for nice. the show for the 
third and fourth season, which was yeah. a freaking blast. And um, after that, kept writing and setting up specs around town. And then you yeah, we, you, you started pro- we started producing short films and things together. And we, you know, my my dad was an entrepreneur, is an entrepreneur, and in, in in the real estate background. So he was always encouraging us to talk to the producers. You know, meet you know you know keep our relationships and we always uh, ask questions i always yeah. kind of wanted to know how the sausage was made like why is the camera <laughs> there and there and why are you pushing it in now and why yeah. is the lighting like this and why is it coming in from there and not there and i don't know i always, I always ask producers why are you drawn to content and what what do you do what's your role in it and how do you get it made and what are your obstacles and so i was always asking uh, bigger questions to more successful people and it just built That's a good. great pool of relationships that led to us making these projects now and we, yeah. we, we that, got to make a show for netflix that got nominated for an emmy and was one of their most yeah, successful awesome. uh, cool. animated <laughs> shows it worked really well yeah. your dad wrote me a nice letter by the way after oh, that nice. it was like yeah Love thanks that. for the emmy nomination and all that <laughs> so it was um yeah and, and that show does does exactly what we want in terms of it's a kid's show but it deals with deeper themes of, of, of maturity coming of age family and it deals with them i think in a real way mm-hmm. And leaves you with that like special feeling by the end of the series. So, um, yeah, yeah, and we, and, and we just made another movie with um, Lorraine Bracco from The Goodfellas. She, uh, cool. Kevin James, uh, Mel Gibson, uh, Mason Thames, and um, that was a blast too. That so, was the one I saw at the screening. That's yeah, when you the saw at the watched, screening. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was a fun yeah. one. It's now called yeah. The Boy Who Cried Witch. Oh, Boy okay. Who cried Witch, kind of a that was my nickname in high school. Yeah. Stranger <laughs> Things, kind Boy of. Who Cried Witch. <laughs> <laughs> you had a lot of nicknames. Yeah, dude. <laughs> You got bullied a lot. Yeah, so I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Coping mechanism. Yeah. That's how I deal with it. Defen- yeah. Defense mechanism. Yeah. Uh, no, that's so cool, man. You guys are working together. It's And you're right, so, man. It's really about, and it's also the way the business has changed is make your own stuff. Like I never mm-hmm. in a million years thought I would, I'm producing and hosting a show this summer and I'm producing and acting in a movie this fall, but it's also like you make your own content now. I mean, this is, it, it's kind of always been that way too. Cause Jason Siegel's heard from Jed Apatow. He goes, dude, nobody's writing stuff for you. Like yeah. who's yeah. going to play you better than you just make it for you. And then, you know, and that's how you'll shine. So Kevin Smith said, if you want to make it, make it like, yeah. so it's also, you know, and now it's so like, you know, now you get to own your own IP if you make it and it's easier to make stuff. You don't need like these huge cameras from back in the day. You can literally shoot stuff or the technology has changed. I mean, look at this. Yes. Yeah. And fundamentally, I think it comes down like for us too, is more of a philosophical thing of like, just what's going to keep us happy here. Yeah. Like yeah. what's going to keep this more than just making money? Like what, what is going to give us that extra like um, ability to, to find happiness in what we're doing? So I believe we're given a skill set and given some talents and it's like, well, well, how do we use that for happiness and for good? And it was like working together. Cause at the end of the day, even if it all falls apart, like we got each other and we got our yeah, family cool. and yeah. getting to work together. I, I couldn't picture it any other way. It, it, it's it's um it I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cry guys <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's 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 that extra thing that i think keeps it all you it all you going. guys really do have uh not to just you know blow smoke up your ass guys i i do <laughs> i do love you guys i really oh. do i admire you both because i i mean for as long as i've known you you're vo- you're both extremely polite you're extremely respectful oh, human you. beings you're kind and you're funny you know how to take jokes and and you, i mean you've had a lot of career uh, so you have had a lot of success in your career, but also you're doing your own stuff. And then you kind of found a way to keep working, doing what you love, working with people you love. And then you also got the fuck out of here <laughs> <laughs> and you're raising kids in a healthy manner. And you're just, you have a, a nice, you have a, uh, you have the dream life. You guys oh, have a, you guys have nice the feeling. greatest thing. And oh, again, I just wanted to see you. if you wanted to adopt another kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm here. Well, it's like, Thank you, you know, in, in uh, likewise, we appreciate our friendship and, and yeah. like, Likewise with you, Anthony, it's like there's the so many people come here and it's like all about themselves and it's all about advancing their 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 own and there's nothing wrong with being self interested to it to a certain extent but um, if it's got to be for something else so like just our orbit and the group that we revolve around or kind of our our, our our inner circle it's just all I think similar minded folks in terms of like at the end of the day what really matters like we're all here trying to do this thing. We're all here trying to, but what matters is, you know, family are you good? friends, are you good? Who you journey with how, really how we do it. Yeah. Who, who are you journeying with along the way? And, yeah. and who, who, who you're surrounded by says a lot, you know, you, you walk with fools, you become foolish. You walk with the wise, you become wise, uh, you gain wisdom. So yeah. it's like, and you've stayed humble throughout the whole process too. 
we've just seen so. so many people fail and succeed and fail and succeed and fail where it's like at any moment it could be me that's out there like you know on, on the curb like it, it can happen to to, to literally yeah. anybody there's your cigar no, addiction man it's got yeah, to you could, down could, yeah slow suddenly. down yeah. <laughs> ease up dude you got to, <laughs> yeah. hey, what happened to david henry oh god he's yeah. in yeah. cuba he's, yeah. he's, i spent all my money this is my last he's cigar. inhaling cigars now that's how bad it is he <laughs> no. inhales you're one of those <laughs> there's guys who do that i don't know oh, how I've people seen do it. that yeah. or like they'll smoke right the lungs. and then it's the last puff they'll just inhale it and i'm like yeah. how do you do that Ugh. That's a tough one. Yeah. Wait, so you don't inhale? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have lungs of steel, no, man. That's, oh, man. That's well, what you were talking about too, about the, the happiness and just going out and doing it yourself. Like I, I understand that so much right now too. Cause last time we spoke like about a month ago, yeah. um, you're just asking about like what I do. And you know, I'm normally an editor and I've been editing for the past decade. Um, and I've gotten to the point where I'd gotten tired of, directors and people who are making the movie on set giving me stuff that I can't use or like not giving me enough. Mm -hmm. And like, I know what an editor needs now at this point in my career. I know what he needs to make the movie great. And obviously I want to make the movie as best as possible. So I'm like, I'm just going to do this myself. So mm -hmm. I want to now step into the director producer role. Editors are the to make sure it works. Best. Editors. Yeah. yeah. You know, we've worked with some editors and they make the best directors it's yeah. like, they know what needs mm -hmm. to happen in the story yeah. or what they need in the story they could break down the story i mean yeah. it's so important editors make or break a film yeah, yeah. they really do you could and have a crappy film <laughs> and the editor editors make it's make true it yeah. make you shine especially a comedy yes oh, we've oh, talked dude, about this many I'm times very I'm fortunate sure. that that's especially my, a comedy that's my editorial expertise from being at happy madison mm -hmm. for almost that's 10 awesome, years man. it's all about like, timing yeah, that and is I true. couldn't imagine though. What I was I was sharing this with Anthony when we spoke about a month ago. Is yeah. like we we we're, we're close friends with Kevin James, and one of the things that um, we've we've seen some early cuts of things and been involved in the process. One of the things that I would be like terrified about when editing a comedy is losing confidence in a joke, mm -hmm. like a joke that maybe works and you know it worked immediately, mm -hmm. but after ten times it's not funny, and you've been editing it all day long. How do you, and then, and then finally the, the, the fear creeps in where you're like, well, actually I, I just showed it to a new person and, and they didn't laugh, but when I first showed it, it, it killed. And so how do you, how do you maintain that confidence in that joke? Like yeah. that would kill me that, that, that comedy thought. is so much harder than drama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Cause yeah. you gotta, you gotta be dramatic. You have to be convincing. So the drama has to be there, but you also have to be on time. Right. Anyone yeah. could be sad. Anyone can be yeah, sad. but it's easy to be it's easy to emote. It's easy to be, but to be funny and to time it like it. I got to work with Kevin on his last CBS show, and um, it, I, I was like watching a master class. He was just like coming in. Mm -hmm. and it, it was I was laughing at him, and it was hard hard for me to 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 uh, work with him. But uh, it's yeah, man, comedy is so hard for all you people out there. Yeah, yeah. thanks, yeah. thanks, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and you were saying too, like you wanted to figure out how things worked. And I think that's how I first, you know, got into filmmaking as well Is like, I, I played baseball for 13 years. I blew my shoulder out in high school, which just Oof. ended my career. Um, and then I went with my dad on some sets and I was making YouTube videos with my friends and I was always the kid who would build Legos and stuff. So like I apply that same ideology to like even in my adult life, when it comes to editing, like I view it as a giant Lego or like a puzzle. That's awesome. Like a bunch That's of a good way to look at it. I'm going to piece it together. And like Ikea furniture, it's a giant Lego. Oof. You know, oh, like, I love it. That's yeah. a shitty movie. I just, I just like, furniture. I just like, yes, <laughs> it's, a, it's about a, one, one guy who can't find the last piece of his uh, couch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to make it work. Been there, uh, dude. But no, I, I, it's, I think it stems from a place of wanting to know how things work. It's wonder. Yeah. It's yeah. wonder. Yeah. 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 You know? It's that's that's what really what keeps yeah. it going is that that awe that that yeah beauty and then chasing that feeling of watching your you know first your your favorite movie for the first time like for me it was Jurassic Park oh. and like being suspended in that oh, love you know, reality and like the awe that it gives you like I'm like I'm chasing that that high mm -hmm. wanting I, to reproduce that and then give that to others mm -hmm. as well and dude that's so, a, that, like my when you bring up Jurassic Park to me my mind yeah. my mind explodes with a million thoughts of like yeah. how do you recreate that today with like even the yeah. even the the little film that I did the 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 boy who cried witch it very much was pulling on nostalgic sensibilities and how do you recreate, you know, Goonies? I think Stranger Things did a great mm. job of capt capturing that sort of uh, a feeling. It was like, how do you recreate that? And it was a high focus on practical and trying to be as practical yeah. as possible. The, the the witch build was all practical. The way we designed that, all practical. 
And I just got to visit um, in Trilla Studios in Atlanta, their volume LED stage, which is just unfreaking Crazy. real. It's where they do yeah. all the Guardians of the Galaxies and all the all the big Marvel movies. Yeah. It um, is mind blowing. But my my thought went right to nothing's practical anymore. Because with those, mm. have you been in a volume stage? Well, I yeah. just found out about these recently. They're, they're insane. Dude, I heard it's, it's crazy. Blowing. A gajillion dollars Star Wars is done to build them. And, and everything. And yeah. Cameras in real time, you're just, your actors standing in that stage and there's a whole war going on behind them. Wow. A battlefield with explosions on the LED walls. And they're just standing there and you can move the camera. You can do massive camera moves. You wow. can build sets in the stage and the volume walls are just like, live green screens that are timed so completely crazy. timed yeah. and right but my my question is like how do you recreate the practical feel and does yeah. that is that i think we have a natural feeling when we watch something like jurassic park where they like built the t-rex and then you get like this massive cg thing and there's there's different feelings and yeah. and i i i i don't it's like an open-ended thing in my mind where i'm like man, I wish we could just yeah. go back to practical in a way. And then you bring AI into the mix yeah. now. And it's like, yeah, how do you embrace AI, new... AI? It's like, can, can I, I think we're going to run its course where people are like, I just want the human thing again. Yeah, I want it yeah. all practical like that. That's why when, I'm shooting a movie with uh, toy dinosaurs now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, did you, did you watch the newest Jurassic Park, the Jurassic World Dominion? I haven't I, seen I, the most I did, recent I did, one. Yeah. So I, I'm not sure if you caught on to it, but they used a lot of practical like puppets for it. That's smart. Awesome. Wait, wait, yeah. the new Jurassic, smart. which, which so one? there's the three Jurassic worlds, the, the yeah. new ones that came out. And, uh, in this one, they, I think finally listened to the audience saying like, we don't want these genetic hybrid CGI dinosaurs. Yeah. We just want dinosaurs. Yeah. Yes. And they like went back to their, to that. They brought the original cast back. Lord yeah. Dirk, yeah. Yeah. Sam, I saw that. I want, I want, I'll see it. So you're saying a lot reason. of that was robotic too. Yeah. yeah they built was, all the main good. dinosaurs featured in that movie. They built puppets for them. Like they did for the originals. Uh, I love awesome. that I shit. Love that, man. Yeah. I love that. And, I mean, you still get the mix of like the CGI version of the dinosaur and it looks great yeah. now because of the technology we have. And then the close ups they used all practical puppets. That's awesome. That's awesome, That's awesome that. man. That's, That's really what I like. That. Just like the original Star Wars, they they were using shoes and shit like yeah. but oh. it looks it looks real because it's it's re it it's is. a real object. Touch yes. Yeah. CGI stuff is and getting too out of hand. That. It's like you sense that thing. Like you you watch Terminator two in a car chase and the car explodes yeah. off the bridge and then yeah. certain things from Fast and the Furious are just like that's yeah. just not that's not real. Yeah. That's yeah. not real. Yeah, it's I crazy. mean, you, you got to give it to Michael Bay for doing the practical explosion. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. You know, in the, what a badass. Transformers. Yeah, Transformers, oh, you know, yeah. blowing up a side of a building in Chicago. Like, or like Tom oh. Cruise freaking doing all of his stunts. And like 60 something or whatever. And, and that's yeah. that's part yeah. of the reason I think he's so successful is because you can't, that's the ultimate human element. I want to watch can't. that because uh -huh. he's actually going on the motorcycle. It's and then skydiving, skydiving twelve, and he times. did it. I like, think I, yeah, he did it like six times. He went yeah. through like seven motorcycles. I watched like, that whole YouTube clip like five times. Yeah, yeah. it's so yeah. so crazy. I was yeah. so much respect dude, for that. Dude's, it's got a, a, dude's got a death wish. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, it's got a huge I, oh. life insurance balls. Oh, I bet. <laughs> you you were saying, David, about like capturing like this nostalgia and like I think movies and shows that could do that now is part of their reason for success because yes. we live in a reality where it's franchises and sequels yes mm -hmm. you know so anything original or something that reminds you of like your childhood is is great is working yeah, yeah. it's working yeah that's yeah. why it works yeah. well <clears throat> you guys are awesome let's do before we go we'll say a couple things um maybe maybe uh what drives you crazy about each other yes. and then what do you love the most about each other i'll start oh there's too many things I'll to start. drive crazy we need a whole other podcast <laughs> let's for get that. nasty first <laughs> right. what, what drives me crazy and there's not too many david's he's he's the type of guy where yeah, yeah. it's hard to hate anytime everybody. you preface this long it's gonna be really bad uh <laughs> what drives me crazy is when he is like sending an email or texting and he, I'm like, I, I literally am having a conversation with someone that is not paying attention to me. <laughs> oh yeah. I can't multitask for, for me. It's like, if I'm focused Been on there. one thing, it could be, the house is yeah. burning down around me and I, there's nothing else going on. He could be screaming David in my ear and I, I just don't register him. I'm finishing what I'm doing. It's like, it's like I'm talking to a wall. <laughs> I, 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 I can understand that's that. It. That's it. That's all that drives me crazy about my brother. Okay. My, my dad it. is like that. If he's walking down the street, he has to stop and respond to a text and then he keeps walking. Oh, yeah. man. Dude, I'm the same oh, guy. Or if yeah. I'm walking, I'll find myself a mile past where I'm supposed to be yeah. while I'm doing that thing. And <laughs> I'm, I'm like, wait, where am too. I? I don't yeah, even yeah, realize yeah. where I am. I could have fallen off And then he looks up and I'm like, yeah, right. You know, it was a good conversation. 
You're supposed to be. You're supposed to be here. We're baptizing my son. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I just got a that promo one. email yeah, from yeah. Kroger. Sure. <laughs> Look at the watermelon prices. <laughs> yeah. On my Amazon account. Eggs. You could get as many eggs as you want from yeah. Costco now. Did you see this? I just bought a cow. <laughs> So, so with Lauren, so what, you, which, what bothers me, oh, um, oh shit, oh, you know, this might just be a more broader Italian thing is like, mm -hmm. there's no solution that they can't find a problem with. <laughs> like you can't just settle in the solution. It's like, okay, we got it. We got this figured out. This is what's going to make sense. Let's do this. And it's like, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's hard we for gotta, you to trust the thing. We got to find, like Sebastian Maniscalco's got that, so, so many funny Italian bits, but they're all true. Mm. <laughs> but there's one about like Italians in an argument, you know, with him and his, with him and his wife, he's like, in an argument, you know, my wife will just be like, oh, okay, and then move on. But with an Italian, it's like, well, well, hold on here. Hold on. Let, let's dig deeper. We keep digging till we hit the body. Mm. Like we will find a body and we don't stop digging until we find the you body. You know what I'm talking about. I know. I know. And so You're on your own, dude. No, no, no. <laughs> put, don't, put, don't put me in this. With, <laughs> just kidding. With, yeah. With, with Zoe, there's, there's a bit of that at times. Where I'm just I'm like, no, it, let's just move on. It's fine. Let's I move do. On. I can do that too sometimes. It's, but yeah. the, the flip side is I think it's out of love. So the best thing for Lorenzo mm -hmm. is he's, he's incredibly loyal. Why do Incre I? Incredibly That's loyal. Good. No matter what. No matter what, and I hope it's reciprocal. Uh, but no matter what, it's like your favorite thing is he's he's extra loyal. No matter what, if the the worst thing in the world happens, or suddenly it's like so, some me, him, and another guy are talking, and it's like even if he's wrong, or even if I'm wrong, and this guy says something to me that's disrespectful, it's like, well, hold on, hold on here, no, 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 you're you're out. You know, I don't even care if you're right. Get out of here. We're, you don't insult my brother in front of me oh, or something like. Love there, that. There's a there's He'd help a, you bury the body if he had to. hundred percent. We oh, did they you kill that houses? guy? Bury him. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. none of that. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Take the cannoli. Take the cannoli. <laughs> yeah, no, That's I think I think my favorite thing about David is uh, he just always makes the right decision, without like um, like 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 me. I'm I'm I got that a little more of the Italian. Like if someone like does me wrong, it's I get a little emotional, but then mm -hmm. I'll move on. Mm -hmm. David is just like, no, this is it. Like wow. it, like boom. It's like he always makes the right decision without thinking about you know the thing and and then moves on. So that's. Something I always Impressive. admire about my older brother. Yeah. Dude, Good. that's awesome. This was great. Yeah. yeah. Likewise. Yeah. Likewise. I love that. Awesome. Uh, like I said, I love you guys. Uh, yeah. I appreciate you guys coming on. Do you want to plug anything before you go? Anything you're uh, on? My plus one. Hey. Check out my plus one. <laughs> but no, when you see the boy who cries witch come out, check out the film, support it. We're excited yes. for what everyone, fun everyone thinks about the film. Yeah. Thank yeah. you guys check for watching it, it, taking the of course. time to come, yeah, come yeah. see it. It was great. Thank you guys. And uh, thanks for coming on guys. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thanks for the coffee right. too. Yes. Oh yes. <laughs>